when you're jobless, when you're a job seeker, you're a kind of desperate. I understand. But being desperate doesn't mean you will not do a background check. If that company you're so desperate to work for really wants to take you, they will surely do a background check on you. So why don't you want to do a background check on them to know if they are real or not? Again, guys, welcome back to our business. Patronize your girl. Visit our page on Facebook, Oseme Fashion. And patronize your girl. Make sure when you get there, you give us a like, a comment if possible. And you can as well do business with us. We do wholesale and retail. Counting on you, waiting for your orders. Make sure you make us your supply block. Again, your girl is back with the yacht. Do not come to Dubai and go back without enjoying all the facilities. Come enjoy the water side of Dubai, the water view. Enjoy it with Martha. Make Martha your yacht block and surely you're going to get a discount. Make Martha your Hello, yacht beautiful block people. to get welcome a discount. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new on this channel, welcome. My name is Martha aka gifts aka mama bk and guys i am the one and only original mrs maike today i'm here to enlighten you all to tell all my fellow africans especially the job seekers who are planning to come to the uae and those who are even already in the uae be very careful because you never know most of the jobs we see on social media most of them are fake i'm not saying all there are some real accounts, some genuine accounts, but trust me, nowadays, especially with the coming of the school reopening, the coming of the new academic year, so many people, these fraudsters, these scammers, they have decided to create their fake accounts as usual to advertise jobs, uh, job openings, be it as bus attendants, cleaner. We know all these things teaching positions, PE teacher, um, nurse, like just a whole lot. I have heard so many complaints. I even had a complaint of a fellow African sister who was telling me another African sister who is working in a school gave her information that a certain school in Dubai was recruiting. So she was trying to ask me a few questions. She was like, please, Auntie Mata, is there an opening? Did you hear about this company? And trust me, guys, it is fake. You see, this time, Yes, schools were recruiting. Some schools may still be recruiting, but you see now, it's rare. It is rare because schools started recruiting since in June. They started publicizing the job opportunities. All the openings were, their lines were open for recruitment, for hiring. And you can imagine from the period of June, July, and August, Till August 10, you don't expect a school to let an important position empty. No, it's not possible. If you have plants working in a school in the UAE, make sure you start searching from April. April, May, June, July. August, you should be preparing to resume, to start work. You cannot be searching for a job in the educational field until August you're still searching. Things don't work the way they work in Africa. Please, my people, do not be deceived. This is a warning to all my fellow African brothers and sisters, whoever it may concern, whoever finds this important, be careful. It is not in August and September that schools in the UAE recruit. No. They start hiring from April, like I said, April, May, June, July. August, you start attending the first timers meeting, the meeting for the new employees. You start meeting your bosses. You start knowing the people around. You, you resume duty in August. They don't start hiring in August. Let nobody deceive you. Forget about all those publicities, all the advertisements you see on Facebook, uh, 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 Instagram, uh, uh, TikTok, all those things, most of them, as far as it concerns school, it is fake. Most of them are fake. 
schools know what they want already by now. They have all their staffs ready for the academic year to commence. And even if we talk about other uh, uh, facilities, make sure you verify the val validity of whatsoever advertisement you see and the company do your background check don't just see any publicity and you jump onto it you jump to it and you just want i know i know when you're jobless when you're a job seeker you're a kind of desperate i understand but being desperate doesn't mean you will not do a background check if that company you're so desperate to work for really wants to take you, they will surely do a background check on you. So why don't you want to do a background check on them to know if they are real or not? We should, keep, we should give ourselves time to think. To think there are a lot, a whole lot of complaints on social media. People are complaining. People are crying. Some of them pay agents fees. They pay agents fee just to be deceived. They waste their time to go to whatsoever location. They will ask them to come for interview. And by the time they get there, they realize, they realize it is not real. It is fake. So before you start paying your money for transportation, because we Africans, we, 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 we treasure even our transport fare. It is not easy out here. It is difficult for us. So if you at least even have that money to take care of yourself, to sustain yourself and seeking for a job, do your background check before paying your transport fare to go to whatever location to attend interview. You don't want to get there and you realize there is no existing of that. Like that company does not exist at all. You don't want that for yourself. It's painful. It is painful. It has happened to me. There's one time I was searching for a part-time job and I saw this advertisement on Facebook. And you know, when you're searching for something, you become desperate and your mind is clouded. Your mind, your mind is crowded. Your mind is like, if this is what they are saying, it is real. You don't want to hear anything, but listen to me. Don't be that person. Don't be that young boy. Don't be that young girl. Listen to me. Don't take everything they say on social media. Most of these accounts, as I told you, they are just seeking for notice. They are just looking for followers and they want their accounts to always be booming. They want people to always come back to their accounts to check to what's happening, what's happening. Be warned. Don't let them deceive you. Don't fall a victim. I don't want you guys to be victims, please. Now I'm begging. But tomorrow, if you are a victim, please come back to this video and tell me. I know some people will not still listen. Yes, those uh, 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 Thomas, the Thomases around here will not listen. Job seekers, especially teachers, teachers, and those who are interested in to work in educational field, be careful during this period. School reopening, be very careful. As I told you, whether it is in a school or another uh, uh, facility, make sure you do your inquiries. You check the validity of that advertisement. Check it, okay? Verify. Make sure you verify. Please, most of these accounts, they are just seeking for admiration. They want to attract followers. If you waste your money, well, like you will cry. That money can help you maybe for your feeding or for whatsoever for a period of time. But now if you waste it to pay transport and go to a place where you did not verify, you didn't try to do any findings. For someone who is just seeking for notice, seeking for attention, who is just looking for admiration, they just go about publishing anything on social media and you're always there because you're, des you're, you're desperate. Thank you. My, uh, uh, I have a brother from, uh, I, I guess he said he's from uh, Zimbabwe. No, 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 no. I remember he told me he's from Gambia. Zambia, I guess. He got, uh, I'm sure he got an offer, but he tried asking me, Martha, please help me verify this company if it is legit. And I'm surely going to help him. I will do that after this video and I will reply. I will give him a response. 
So if you have doubts on anything, ask Martha. If I have an idea, I will tell you. If I have any knowledge of anything, I will let you know. Having a job in, an ed in the educational field is very good. You will be very comfortable because usually it's not all about the money. It's about your comfort, your sanity, your health. It's usually not just about the job. It should be about you. Because you see your employer, it's all about he himself and his company. His company gives him money. So the fact that he's employing you is because you have something to offer. If you don't have something to offer, he will never employ you. You will not be working there. So it should always be about you. Think about yourself first before thinking about that company you want to work for or that company you're working for. Because you know what? Killing yourself because of a company is never going to help you. Do you know why? I'll give you a clear example. I used to know this accountant. He works for this prestigious company and he used to think of himself so high and mighty. And unfortunately for him, he has been working in that company for about four, uh, six to seven years. And he felt sick one period and he didn't want to stay home because he loves his company so much. He, he, he was doing everything to make sure he's punctual and always available on time. He felt sick and he didn't go to the hospital. He didn't do any checkup. He was at work and he fell. Since then, his life has never been the same again. He was rushed to the hospital because they called an ambulance and he was rushed to the hospital. And do you know, he was re replaced after two days. Do you understand what I'm saying? After two days, he was replaced. Another accountant took his place. That is just to tell you, killing yourself for a company is not benefiting you in any way. Because the day you're not available, the day your health doesn't respond well, you're going to be replaced. They will look for another person who is available, who is healthy, and can fill that gap, and they will fill the gap, they will fill the space. So you're not taking good care of yourself. You're not eating healthy. You're not going to the hospital when you're sick. That is your business. And ever since, that guy hasn't regain his health he's not fine he's still sick now he has mental issues he has gone back to his country he's responsible for himself and the company doesn't even care about him anymore they don't talk about him they don't even check up on him so having that job is good keep your job protect your job jealously but take care of yourself take care of your health in this uae most of the things we eat, they are not natural. The nutrients, I'll say, they are not complete. So make sure you feed well and you get enough rest. That's the least you can do for yourself. To keep yourself healthy so you can protect and keep that job. You keep yourself healthy first in order to keep that job. So, my lovely brothers and sisters planning to come in to come to the UAE and those who are already in the UAE, protect yourself to protect your job. Do you get it? Protect yourself to protect your job because it's only a healthy person who can keep a job. Number two, do not rush to attend an interview to an unknown location, to an unknown destination. So, Whatever advertisement, whatever publicity you see on social media, verify the validity of that so-called advertisement before leaving your home to attend any interview. Most of them are fake. Most of them are seeking for notice. They want to attract attention. They want to attract people to their accounts. They are attracting followers and admiration to their account. So be careful. I love you all so much. See you guys when next I upload an another video. And please, if this video was helpful, tell me down in the comments. Tell me down in the comment section. Do me what to follow. And like the video. Share as well so we can help someone out there. 
Not everyone will tell you the secrets of UAE and Dubai. I love you so much.